Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone, welcome to our video presentation We are from group 5 We are a group of two individuals I'm Najwa Rizky Amalia And my friend Sharifa Soraya And our topic today is topic in paragraph We are excited to share our insights and knowledge on this subject with you So keep on watching What is topic in paragraph? A topic sentence is the first sentence in a paragraph that introduces the main idea or subject that will be discussed in the rest of the paragraph. It provides an overview of the sentence that follows and helps to unify the contents of the paragraph. The topic sentence should be specific, clear, and directly related to the main idea of the paragraph. It should also be placed at the beginning of the paragraph, although in some cases it may be more effective to place it later in the paragraph depending on the context and the flow of the writing. The types of topic are descriptive, narrative, expository, and persuasive. The first one is descriptive. This type of paragraph is used to describe a person, place, thing, or idea. It often uses sensory details to paint a vivid picture in the reader's mind. For example, a descriptive paragraph might describe the appearance of a beautiful sunset, the features of a beloved pet, or the atmosphere of a bustling city. The goal is to create a mental image for the reader, helping them to visualize and understand the subject more fully. A narrative paragraph tells a story with a sequence of action or a clear beginning, middle, and end. It often includes characters, a setting, and a conflict that is resolved by the end of the story. For example, a narrative paragraph might recount a personal experience such as a memorable vacation or a life-changing event. The goal is to engage the reader and draw them into the story, making them feel as though they are part of the action. An expository paragraph explains or informs often requiring research and providing clear, concise information. It aims to educate the reader about a particular topic, providing them with a deeper understanding of the subject. For example, an expository paragraph might explain the process of photosynthesis, the causes of a historical event or the step involved in a scientific experiment. The goal is to present the information in a logical and organized manner, making it easy for the reader to follow and comprehend. A persuasive paragraph aims to convince the reader of a particular point of view, often requiring the collection of facts and research to support the argument. It presents an opinion or viewpoint on a topic and provides evidence to back up the argument. For example, a persuasive paragraph might argue for or against a controversial issue, such as gun control or climate change. The goal is to present a strong, well-supported argument that will persuade the reader to agree with the author's point of view. Importance of topic in paragraph The topic sentence is an important element in a well-organized paragraph as it expresses the controlling idea of the paragraph and helps the reader understand the main point of the contents that follows. It provides a clear and concise statement of the subject to be discussed in the paragraph and serves as a roadmap for the reader to follow the development of the idea. The topic sentence is usually placed at the beginning of the paragraph but can also be found elsewhere, as long as it is easily accessible to the reader. It is a crucial part of maintaining coherence in a paragraph and is essential for effective communication of the writer's meaning to the reader.
So, a topic is the main idea or theme of a paragraph and it is important because it helps to organize and focus the contents of the paragraph. There are several types of paragraph topics including descriptive, narrative, expository, and persuasive. Each type serves a unique purpose and can be used in a variety of contexts. Understanding the different types of paragraph and how to use them effectively can improve your writing skills and help you communicate your ideas more clearly and persuasively. Thank you for your time and attention today. We hope this presentation has provided valuable insights and inspiration to you all. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.